For more on this, let's bring in Chad Wolf, former DHS Acting Secretary and America First Policy Institute Executive Director. Chad, I'm rarely shocked by things, but what Jillian just reported seems to me to just be so beyond the pale. Let's get your take on it. Well, absolutely. Look, they're, you know, when they recruit a, a volunteer force, uh, Brandon Judd's right, there's a crisis along that border. But it, it, it really infuriates me because they're not actually trying to solve the problem. They're just trying to manage the influx of individuals coming across that border. And that's fine. You, you, we've got to take care of them. You've got to process them. But where are the measures in place that we're actually trying to solve this? So in two and three months, six months from now, we're not in the same place. And that's where this administration is just falling asleep. They have no plan in place to actually mitigate this, to actually try to reduce the numbers, to draw this crisis to a close. Instead, they just continue to manage this, throwing more personnel, whether it's a volunteer force or it's more Border Patrol agents, to simply process these migrants in every single day at numbers, historical numbers that we've never seen before. So mm. that's what's frustrating to me. I know there are things that works. I know there are ways to mitigate this crisis. This administration does not seem interested in doing any of that. Well, um, you, they, they want people to volunteer to pick up garbage along the border. I, I don't know how you define that job. I don't know where that came from, and we'll see whether or not they can uh, recruit the way they want to. Uh, Mayorkas was speaking over the weekend. Remember um, when Kamala Harris said the border is secure? Uh, he said the political cry that the border is open is music to the smugglers' ears because they take that political rhetoric and they market it. Now, this whole idea about the border is open. Um, <laughs> two years? Yeah, every we day. We go to Bill Malusian every day. There's either a drone in the right. sky, there's a camera on the ground, and I, I mean, you know, fool yourself if you think the border is not open. Well, absolutely. I mean, this, this comment by the secretary is really beyond the pale. Basically, what he's saying is that all the Americans out there, our policy leaders, members of Congress who are really concerned about this issue and are actually speaking out on it, are somehow to blame for the crisis, that the smugglers are slowly listening, only listening uh, to these folks and to news media, Fox News and others, saying that the border is open. And that's absurd, right? Uh, they know it's open because of the policies of this administration. They know it's open because every month they get hundreds of thousands of individuals to cross that border. Every month there's right. more and more gotaways. So the smugglers don't need to listen to, to political folks or anyone else talk about the border is open. The reality is the border is open. They know it's open. And CBP interviews folks every single day, migrants every single day, and the migrants are saying the border is open. That's why we're coming here. Um, and so this, this idea and this comment from the secretary is, again, trying to shift blame. Mm -hmm. uh, the blame, you know, obviously is, is on the Biden administration. The policies are encouraging this surge, nothing mm -hmm. else.